Hey guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender. In this one, I'm going to show you how to add volumetrics with one click to Blender using machine tools. So we're going to grab a plane and let's just drop some mud here and mud here with hard ups and maybe some bevel just for fun. All right. And we did almost good. Now we're going to pop a camera in here. So page down and come to view. I just adjust it a little bit if it doesn't move with the environment we're going to lock it to view and you know set it somewhere here cool and unlock it from view so we can freely move and then we're going to add some light very quickly i mean blender 3.0 by the way so i got a lot of toys for example i got gizmos and stuff we're going to track this camera very quickly to the cube so we can move it very easily not this one bugger off Asset bugger off. There we go. Uh, boom. And move it here. So G, Y. Move it on Y axis. Boom. Perfect. And, you know, maybe just increase strength. I don't know. Something like 4K. Okay. We're going to switch to uh, Eevee. But before we do, I'm going to show you something. So when you go to uh, edit preferences and, you know, machine tools, right? So machine tools. And you're going to go to machine tools menu. You need to enable stuff called, I think, shading pie. Okay, so this one, right? Now, if I press page up, you'll see a really complicated uh, pie menu. <clears throat> but uh, watch this uh, top right corner here. When I switch to EV, it's going to change. Okay, so I'm going to switch to EV, page up, and now you can see different options, right? So they can turn on or off all these things in here in EV, but it also can change between. Uh, you know the quality right if you go to ultra you'll get volumetrics with one click boom right because what a machine tools will do it will simply add a node here right so it will add a node here uh, to your volumetrics now the problem with this setup is that uh, it doesn't change settings uh, in here uh, so i had to actually adjust them manually so I had to adjust the shadows, the volumetric shadows. I had to adjust this one tile size from eight pixels to two pixels. So it's not ideal because I think you should be doing this manu uh, automatically, but the only thing it does really just adds volumetric. So, um, you know, there you go. But um, may maybe it's gonna get changed in the future because I think that's not really ultra. Okay, this is ultra, right? So this is rubbish, but it adds the uh, note uh, with one click. So you don't have to really do it. And now when you go from ultra to none, right? It will still have this node connected, okay? But uh, it will simply not display in here. So, you know, it's, it's a cool way of uh, sort of toggling in between two environments uh, because volumetrics could be heavy for some systems. So this is a really cool way, you know, to kind of plug it in and out without actually having to go to shader editor menu or the tab, yeah? All right, guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and sub if you did. And all the links to add-ons I'm using in the video description. Thanks for watching. Catch you next one.